Hey guys, TJ back here. Um, I'm hoping the mic isn't too loud or too low or the gameplay, but for just I'm trying to do this real quick. Uh, Alpha Omega first impressions. I've played the map a handful of times on stream here on Twitch and here on YouTube and Twitch. I almost said it backwards. Um, and I'm gonna tell you the, the the thing that's really drawing me to Alpha Omega is one the cast of characters, Ultimus premise, and especially if you have all four bots, you can have a different variation on the crews. That's pretty fun. Uh, a lot of good dialogue, a lot of interesting commentaries and and mix and match between the characters. Um, but the, the main thing that's really drawing me in personally is just the setting. Like playing on Nuketown again, even if I see it, like the sound. The sound of that. And the fact that I'm not actually prominently outside, I'm not in the tight hall or hallways of classified or blood or voyage. And I realize that, you know, there are some exterior locations. See how good I am. I wish I had. Like, I know there's some exterior locations and outside locations, but it, it, there's something different about them, like, the way it plays and the way the sound is portrayed with the environment. And so, Sorry, personally, Maggot I'm a big map more than room. any other map right now. Like, yes, I love Classify, that's my favorite map, but Alpha Omega is creeping up there. I'm gonna die. Oh, no. Yeah, because it fucking pulled my aim up as usual. Um, but like I said, personally I'm enjoying the map. I think it's a good map so far. I'm enjoying it. It's fun. It's refreshing. It, it's just so nice to be running around outside. There's no sound condensing, con condensing effect from being inside. Like, just clear and open. And, um... Not to mention, there, there's some decent space to move around. Like, I was actually able to train a bit on stream. It wasn't like... It wasn't like high round training or anything, but it was enough to where I was actually staying alive for a minute. Uh, I think yesterday's stream? I don't remember exactly. Um, but yeah, like personally, I'm enjoying the map. Yes, it's hard to learn. It's kind of tricky. It's hard. It's kind of tricky to learn, but I'm enjoying it, right? It's not like. It's not like Dead of the Night or Ancient Evil where I don't want to actively try and learn it. You know what I mean? Like, I think it's just refreshing to have Ultimus Primus. Combined, it's refreshing to have New Town being open and and more expansions. Personally, I love I love remakes. I love them to death. I'd rather have a fucking remake over a shitty original map, right? That that's just me though. Um, of course, everyone's different. That's just me though. So. Now, hold on. The reason I'm, I'm using the welling just so I can get the headshot thing, but um, my my initial thoughts when I played the map at first, I was like, okay, cool, I'm learning the map, it's cool. Okay, there's a projector in this house. There's debris. The thing I like is that they took the debris concept from uh, Classified, where the debris have sounds, but the doors don't. If that makes sense. So I, so if I really want to, I can just open the debris, right? I don't have to open the doors and have to struggle to find a door. I can just open the debris, no big deal. That's better. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you open, as long as you do. Um, but I'll say this, I, I can definitely see Alpha Mega being a lot of fun, high round, four player, two, three, four players. Solo I think will be fun, just depending on how you do it, but I think definitely Alpha Mega will be probably the map to benefit with multiple people. Are. Especially not even not even just mentioning just having fun with your friends, but also like the interaction between the Primus crew and Ultimus crews. Like like uh, I had, I think I was just Primus Dempsey or Ultimus Dempsey. I don't know who the. I, I promise I can't tell who's who because their voices are all the same because they're the same character. But like the way they act and the things they say are different, so it's kind of you can tell by that. But it's kind of it's still kind of tricky, dude. Um, anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have. Uh, I wonder what you guys are thinking. Do you guys like the fact that we're making zombie maps? Because worse than I do. Or do you guys want original stuff and risk it being bad? That that's my question to you. Because personally, I think what they're doing with Blood Classified Alpha and whatever their fourth DLC is, if it's a remake, I think it'll be great. Because you want the original content, play the cast maps. I mean, it's kind of shitty because you want the new map with the Ether, but still, 
I love it. I personally love the hell out of remakes. I'd rather play this shit over Chaos, new maps, any day. Even if we got an Ether map, new people, or new, uh, map, new Ether map, original map, I probably wouldn't play that shit, dude. Like, I like, I like remakes too much, because it, it takes a classic, flips it on its head a bit, and lets you play with more customization. For example, I can actually train a bit off Omega. I mean, I can train a bit on Blizzard. I can train a bit on any map, it just... Alpha Omega feels better to train on without vision, which is kind of weird considering I would assume. Considering most people assume I camp like a motherfucker, which I do, especially in classified, because classified that's what you do, you camp. But um, I can train if I'm pushed, especially if I set up beforehand with the right perks, I can do it. Um, it's not like a circle or anything, but it, it's basically just zigzags and loops and random figure eight bullshit <laughs> that gets me alive so it works. Um, but anyway, that, that's beside the point. The point is this. Alpha Omega, from what I've played and listened to, has a lot of nice little... S they're not like as obvious as something like Ancient Evil, but the sounds that are there are clear, and you can identify where you are, uh, which way you need to go for certain things. For example, the power switch. The power switch has a sound right next to it, like literally on the damn switch. So you can always uh, listen for that sound, and you'll find the switch. Mozu has the same deal. Mozu has like this little radio or something. Someone's talking right in front of the Mozu or right behind it. So if you walk up to that sound, you hear it. Hey, Mozu's right there. Let's buy the Mozu. Sweet. Right? So, from what I've heard, I like it. Um, I can find power almost every time if I play smart and don't die. <laughs> like that. But... As far as like pack a punch and perk locations, I don't know yet. I found the first brew, the f brew perk location by accident. I just gotta play the map more. Um, eventually, with time, I think I'll be fine. Eventually, I'll get to the point where I think I'll be able to play with with either randoms or with subs. But for now, I'm just playing a lot of solo or with you know close friends like Strava, for example, when he gets his ass fucking on. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. Don't forget to also, you guys can support the channel through PayPal donations. Uh, the next PayPal goal is uh, Facecam or Mortal Kombat 11. Probably Facecam, to be honest. Probably Facecam. Uh, aside from that, you can also support me by uh, using code TJTheBlindGamer at checkout through the GT Throne Vibrating Gaming Chair. 10% uh, off the chair. Also, uh, you can follow me on Twitter at TJTheBlindGamer if you guys want to join my Discord. Uh, like, a lot of these links are in my channel's description, so if you go to the about page of my channel, you'll see a lot of these links. I might be missing one or two. So, yeah. Uh, but, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget. Don't. Yeah. Just, I'm, I'm done. Bye-bye.